Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are back with more Unreal World today. We are on episode two of our agricultural playthrough. Of course, there's a bit of a twist with this one. John, our main character here, is a pacifist. He will commit no acts of violence against man or animal, of course excluding fish, just because we do need some protein to survive in this game. You can't sustain yourself solely off vegetables so he is able to fish from the waters but um, for right now he's done a little bit of trading in the very first episode so we've got enough food to get him through a week or so at least well before we get some stuff planted and of course he is freezing right now or at least numbingly cold because he started with no shirt on so if you did miss that very first episode and you want to see the character creation and a little bit of trading right off the bat and of course him recovering from nearly freezing to death in the first day check out the playlist in the description below and of course if you get caught up with today's episode and you want to check out more unreal world content i've got a whole bunch of other series linked down there as well so i hope you can find something you'll enjoy but let's get on with this what i hope to be exciting and entertaining albeit very peaceful playthrough today so we are here at the site of what is probably going to be our very first camp but john is very cold so he can't leave the fireside which means i'm just going to collect some branches from the nearby trees here while he warms up and we're going to need to construct a shelter so that this kind of freezing doesn't happen again right but other than that we do need to get our hands on some sort of fishing equipment that would be really good for long-term survival survival we do have whoops the networking skill or net making skill i should say and john is talented at that so this will be the first time i've ever tried to use this but we'll we'll have to collect a bit more gear before we can make our own so we'll worry about that that's probably a medium timeline goal but either way guys i'm excited for this brand new playthrough i hope you are too so hit that like button for me and let's go ahead and get a shelter bill all right john has assembled everything he needs to construct a shelter here by this old birch tree and of course we've got a fire going so he won't freeze because this is a lengthy process and yes as you can see he was only able to build part of it before he needed to stop and just rest uh it's getting darker out but we're going to take a little break and eat some of our rye bread now you'll also notice the spot I've chosen here has a straight clear line of sight to the water's edge. That's helpful in the early morning or late at night when it's dark out. If you stumble out of your shelter and you need a drink of water, you can just walk a straight line right to the lake. There you go and take a cool clean drink. So this is a good spot I think and once we chop down a few of these trees, we'll be able to plant a modest garden here for John, but he is an ambitious man despite being very peaceful in nature. He desires a large field here with many crops, so we're looking for, I don't know just how big, but something pretty clear, a nice little cleared out area he can construct a home. And of course, I think I mentioned in the first episode this is a modded playthrough here so you can see there are just a whole bunch of different crafting options as well as blacksmithing i believe there are even extra building options like making our own well and things of that nature and of course if you're interested in this mod pack because this is a collection of a whole bunch of different mods in one i do have a link to the mod itself which is not a steam workshop mod there is no workshop for this game unfortunately so you're going to need to manually insert insert this into the game files there's also a link to instructions on how to do that if you're unfamiliar with that process Process. It's a little bit straightforward, so don't be intimidated by it or anything like that. It's fairly easy to figure out. Just save the file and back it up before you start. But either way, the mod set also adds a lot of good cooking options too. So we've got a whole set of vegetable recipes here you can see. I think John is going to be especially interested in those. Ooh, look at that mushroom soup. Very nice. So we've got a lot of stuff to look forward to, even though we're not necessarily getting into the combat and stuff but i need a little break from my last from combat after my last series no doubt about it 
lacking the ability or the desire to do any hunting or raiding, John doesn't have a lot he can do in order to acquire wealth for trading purposes other than fishing itself. So what we're going to have to do is probably make a couple of javelins, I think, to start with. Now with this mod set, we probably can make our own fishing pole too, but I'm not actually familiar with that process so in the meantime between all the stages because usually with this mod it is a multi-stage process for most of the crafting so yeah you can see fishing rods at the top we will work on that but in the meantime let's get a couple of javelins so we can do some spear fishing during the day when it's warm and the sun is up all right so i've got some stabs in my inventory i already constructed those uh let's go ahead and do m lumber and from the staff oh no i'm sorry it's not lumber it's a weapon yes that's right although john is a pacifist he will use javelins against the fish there we go so we'll just try and make two of them back to back Ooh, it's not possible to accomplish this task because of the quality of our knife oh uh, let's try just one all right yes we're able to do one sometimes if you can't do multiples just try one and that'll allow you to do it despite the poor quality of your tools but it's gonna be a long process and speaking of quality i have a feeling this javelin is going to be pretty garbage but i don't know if we get a couple of fish out of it it'll be worth all the effort okay just took him 12 hours to construct that and he immediately passed out afterwards let's see what did it turn out to be yeah, crude javelin, so uh, it's not very likely that we'll get lucky with this and hit a big fish. But like I said, if we get a couple, that would be surprising. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I think we should probably be extra cautious before fishing and set ourselves up a nice big roaring fire right next to us so we don't freeze while we fish. Okay, and there we go. I just cut down the little tree right next to us and we got a fire going. So let's attempt some fishing here. If we go to our skills and then F for fishing, we're going to do active fishing with our javelin. There we go. Didn't manage to catch anything. Yeah, not surprising. Let's try it again though. Not quite ready for bed yet. Uh, nope gonna try it again i'm not 100 percent sure if this is going off of his spear skill which is pretty bad he's a novice with the spill or spear or if it's going off fishing which he's skilled at either way he's not managing to catch anything so uh that's all right that's all right we'll have to manage what we really need to get our hands on is an axe. If John can manage to figure out some way to get a hand axe, then we'll be in business because he can start to trade away boards or something like that, or just even little handcrafts that he can make and stuff. But we are just kind of waiting for the temperature to warm up too because at this point, I don't even think it's possible to use our shovel on the ground. Nope, it's too frozen and impossible to dig. Hey, look at that. We caught ourselves a pike. Oh, that's pretty huge, actually. That gives me hope that we can actually do this. All right, all right. So we got to get back here to the shelter. I did make sure to get some firewood before I did this. So what we see here is a list of the things that are in our shelter. I dropped all the seeds and stuff. No reason to carry those around. And as I mentioned, I've got some firewood here. We can build a nice roaring fire and we're going to have to roast this fish. I suppose I could dry it because uh, I did pick up a little bit of uh, a couple of saplings somewhere. Oh, they're on the ground. Yeah, so I got a spruce sampling. I could make a little bit of cordage or even use my nettle yarn, but this fish right here is definitely going to need to be eaten. So we will roast it on a fire. Look at that. That's a big fish too. A pike, six and a half pounds of fish. Wow. Oh yeah. So that'll be a little while before it's done. And I'll just probably, yeah, you know what? I'll cut down a couple more of these saplings. So we do have some extra cordage just in case we get another big catch. 
change the plans for John. So instead of just wasting time trying to fish with that terrible javelin that we constructed, we have left the camp behind and went in search of a brand new settlement. I am hoping that these folks will have an axe, maybe even a better knife that John can trade for, and really most crucially at all, of all I think we need a fishing rod and or a net. So I'm willing to actually trade away the shirt or I should say the cloak off of John's back right now because that's one of the few things of value he still has that we will trade that we can you know trade. I also brought our seeds and stuff with us just in case we get super desperate i might be able to trade back a bag of you know rye grain or something just to push us over the edge if needed so we've got all that with us but like i say john he's not a very rich man and he doesn't have ambitions to be but there are just a few critical things we need to survive in the harsh wilderness and i'm going to spend the next few moments searching some of these cabins hoping they have exactly what we need Ah, a blacksmith who is an expert at his craft. This will be a very helpful friend for John to make right here. Of course, we are not really interested in the shield or the armor, but there's knives and tools that we can order from this gentleman. Now, it does take a couple of weeks or a few days for him to make these, so I think it's probably safe for us to order something from this guy. Let's order something relatively small here. Uh, fish hook iron fish hooks please yes that's perfect okay it's a deal because i think we can probably afford that It'll take them a few days and even if we're a bit late usually they still hold on to the goods and stuff but tell you what this village has been very very good so far if we look at the marker i've already placed one here We've got nets at this location, a trident, they also sell dogs, and of course there's a blacksmith here too, so let me just mark that. I like to try and be as thorough as possible, we'll say expert blacksmith at this location and of course as we trade for some of this stuff i'll delete it from the mark too but now that's not it because i actually picked up an axe two axes because i'm not sure which one's cheaper but we've got a knife too which is better quality and a net very very important that could make things so much easier for us getting this net here because we can crack a hole in the ice up the lake and drop that in the water while we still do our javelin fishing you know but um anyway now comes the hard part trying to trade for this stuff because nets are very expensive we might not even be able to afford that by itself but i think i'm going to drop the woodsman's axe since that's a bit more expensive now let's chit chat with this gentleman right here and see if we can pull off this trade real quick oh boy this is a tough one guys so i had to put everything back but the net that is all we could afford and i'm literally giving him my cloak so that means temperature is going to become even more of a factor. It's going to be a struggle just getting back to our shelter. I'm probably going to have to stop and build fires for John to warm up every like two or three tiles, but we'll be able to make it. It just takes patience, which John has a lot of. But I've also unfortunately got to trade away that big bag of rye grains and the bag of peas that we just bought too. But that's okay. That's okay. It's not like we're losing too much value there. It's just we'll have to come back later and reacquire some of these. Or maybe if we've got the right seeds, we can grow more of ourselves. But it also sucks getting rid of these bags. Those are very helpful to have bags too, especially once they get emptied out. But I think we have to accept this trade because a net here, the net that we just traded for, that can be the difference between life and death for John. So like I said, he is a little bit cold right now. So I'm going to take advantage of one of the fires. Hopefully they've got lit. No, not there. Uh, hopefully they have a fire somewhere, but we'll be able to warm up even if we just kind of sit inside one of these little cabins for a little while, I think. So let's see what this journey is like once he gets warmed up 
Okay, well, we have just stepped back onto the world map. Normally, I would spare you an overworld journey like this, the viewer, because it is kind of boring and tedious, but we've got to go from right here to right here. Yeah, that's our camp that we made. And normally, like I said, we wouldn't show this part, but this is going to be a tough journey. So if anything bad happens, I want you guys to be there with me. So let's stop and eat. Take a bite of this roasted pike we've still got. Very good. He's holding up okay. I thought he would drop to like cold within, you know, moving two or three tiles. But now we're making some decent distance. Oh, okay, there he goes. He's cool now. Looks like it started to snow a little bit. Let's keep pushing him just a bit. Ah, look at that. Well, that journey wasn't so bad, was it? And the good news is, too, we actually uncovered a couple of other settlements that I didn't even visit. Uh, wasn't much need for it. We don't have anything else to trade right now, but hopefully one of those two places has a shirt that John can buy from him down the road once we get a little bit more wealth. But now with this net, I'm hoping we can get some fish. If we can catch some decent fish and start to dry those, that'll be a good way to acquire a little bit of trading wealth. I am starting to realize that this net might not be the best idea or at least it might be trickier than i thought because we're not going to be able to place it next to the shore it's not deep enough now what we might be able to do is walk out onto the ice and then of course i can just break a hole out here where it's a little bit deeper let's just see if this will work it is cold oh i'm getting real cold um let's try this uh, it's still not deep enough so we're going to have to go out even farther on the ice than that. Wow, 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 wow. And the problem is, too, at some point it's going to get warmer and it's going to be a struggle to get out there and get it without breaking through the ice, which is suicidal even in late spring. So we're definitely going to have to get a boat to work with this net. It might be viable for a couple of weeks still, though, doing it this way. I just have to find a spot that's, you know, far enough out on the ice so the water's deep enough. So let me go ahead and warm up. I'm just going to lay down, take a little nap next to the, the, uh, the big fire. All right, let's push out a little bit farther. Now, it is very important to watch down here because if, if it says the, arse, or, excuse me, the ice starts to crack, we got to be very careful about that. All right, so we're out here. This is pretty far. Let's let's crack a hole in the ice here. Okay, we're, our, we're remember we got no shirt on, so it's hard here. Uh, my hands are feeling cold. Uh, let's see. Now I can't see in front of me. No. Okay, yeah, I can't see to place the net, so we're just going to have to wait anyway. Not a big deal. We'll just lay down, go to sleep again. There we go. Okay, the lights come out a bit. Let's move forward very cautiously because that hole is going to be in front of me somewhere. There it is. All right, we'll break a little bit of ice there. All right, let's try this, hopefully. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. all right, so the net is in the water. We got to give it a you know a little bit, a few days it says to retrieve the net to see if there's a catch. So, like I said, in the meantime, I'll probably just keep this big fire going right by the lake shore and try and do some javelin fishing. Okay, after many many tries, John was able to catch a couple of pikes here. I am going to grab some of our cordage real quick. There we go. We're going to make a tough decision. So one of the pikes got roasted and we got about two pounds of that left. After that, we have no more food, but I did just catch a nice fresh six pounder, but we're going to dry this one right here. So like I said, it's a bit of a risk, but I'm gambling that the net is going to have some in there too, or that I might actually catch some more of the javelin. I've been, I've, I've definitely been failing more than I've been succeeding with that, but it is still hitting occasionally, enough to at least keep us from starving. So let's go ahead and dry this sucker up. Again, this will preserve it for long term and we can trade it away if we need. All right, let's see. You know what else I was thinking too is I don't necessarily need to buy an axe. Um, one thing I could do 
maybe that would just help a little bit to clear some area is to hire somebody who has an axe if we get enough food and they can chop down trees for me and stuff but ultimately we will need an axe long term especially if we want to build our own cabin and stuff but anyway let's go ahead and proceed with this i've got some cordage boom okay so the fish is going to take 25 days before it's done so like i said bit of a gamble there that long-term investment in a couple months for or a couple weeks from now but i think it's probably the smartest thing to do so it's getting uh pretty late we're tired let's go to sleep oh we woke up cold so even the shelter is not enough for john with his shirt missing so that's why i've got a nice little pile of wood set up right there next to us so all he has to do is wake up light that and he can go right back to sleep and yep now he's sweating beautiful all right but looks like we've run out of firewood over here next to the fishing spot so let's eat a little bit um i'm tempted to go out there and check our net let's just do it it hasn't it's only been like a day and a half maybe two days but let's check this thing so oh, my elbow feels cool <gasps> we caught two breams how big are those how big is two breams 4.4 pounds all right that's not i mean it's not great it's not the same as a pike obviously but again our method is working so Oh, thank goodness. Now I need to set this and get back to the fire before we get some frostbite. Okay, well, we are back in our shelter. I have the breams being roasted right next to me here. We won't be smoking these or drying these, I should say. These are just going to be for our immediate consumption. But again, I'm hoping that net hits more and more. So we leave it out there a little bit longer next time. That'll be good. Nonetheless, guys, we are still on shaky ground. I didn't expect this would be an easy start with the uh, self-imposed pacifist run, but it presents its own unique challenges. We're going to have to think outside of the box a little bit here, so leave me some comments, some tips, any ideas you guys have for survival. I really appreciate you all tuning in. Hit that like button for me. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new here to the series. And I do have a playlist link down below for the series and all kinds of other Unreal World content. Also, my Discord, or I should say my Patreon link, is down below. So check that out, guys. If you're interested in donating and helping support the channel, you do get access to a private Discord server if you're a Patreon member, as well as all the Patreon content that's there, too. So I really appreciate you guys and I will see you all on the next one.